And the story I relate is a very intimate story of my own awakening to why painting is powerful and why it is transformative. And that was due to a, a friend of ours being murdered. And there's nothing that prepares you to handle that. It's not the right thing, you know? And um, <laughs> so painting, I was in art school, I'm taking drawing, you know, painting a scene, whatever. And then that happens and you're like, this is not relevant. <laughs> and I remember going to the library and looking at books on grief. You know, these are your five-step process of how you should deal with grief. And I'm like, really? What the fuck is it? <laughs> like, have you actually experienced this? Because that's not relating to me. And the only things that did resonate with my spirit were Rothko's paintings and uh, some powerful music. So music and painting. And that's really... I feel like my entry into painting and in the, if I look back that's what informs how I understand it to be transformative because I painted and made my way through that tragedy and if I didn't have that I would not be the person that I am able to be now and so it was actually that very dark experience that you never want to say aloud because it's it shouldn't have happened and it's wrong to have happened but when these things do happen it is possible to use that and art has that magic to change and to integrate it into something that can be much more powerful and positive so when i think about the bigger context of what's happening now it's it's scary there's a lot of things that are really feel dark but i i can remember in my own experience that that darkness also always holds a possibility to transform and to become something more whole and more strong and painting has that power And <laughs> cut. <laughs> so. <laughs>